Duh. I ended my series. You did? Yeah. Hello. I have a guest. Hi, I'm Toby. Yeah. Nice to thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm yeah. here. He's lovely, by the way. He's so lovely. Go check out his channel. Mm -hmm. it's so good. You're a Pokemon YouTuber. I am a Pokemon YouTuber. Yeah. And you are a craft YouTuber. Yes. We're different, but it's okay. This is how collaborations work, and I am uh, excited to be to be learning some crafts today. Yeah, yeah. What so, have you got for me, Jamie? You guys know how I make my little um, orb things. I need to cut a name for them because they're not quite some songs because some songs stack. I need a name. Jamios. Jamios? And I call you guys Jam Jamie sometimes. Uh, but mainly I call you friends. Which is friends. Yeah. Oh, you're so adorable. <laughs> like, you mean O's? Because yeah, they're round? And Jamie Joe is my name. Jamios. Jamios. Let's make some Jamios. Yeah, I like that. Jamio Pokemon. <laughs> We're gonna make water Pokemon and put them in little habitats. We're gonna have little aquariums yeah, going on for our Pokemon. water Pokemon, which is really exciting. I'm, I want to make a Marrow because I think Marrow is pretty spherical anyway. And I'm gonna do a Mudkip because I've done a Mudkip before and I really liked how Mudkip turned out. You know how Pokemon have ears and additional little yeah, yeah, they're not sure. just round balls. Marrow's so. got like big round ears that are flat yeah. that I think we're gonna have to do. Yeah, so we use the silk clay to make the extra bits of it. Sure. And then we paint it all together. Cool. This clay is also called cloud clay and it just air dries. It's really fluffy and it air dries. This is so much fun. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm so excited to do this. I haven't done anything like this in years. <laughs> I'm so happy to have a friend on my channel. Oh, look at Do you do collaborations like... often? Do you have yeah. people over? No, I live too far away. Just You just about live conveniently close to me. Yeah, but, um... yeah. This is my closest friend. <laughs> Literally. I'm your closest yeah. friend. Oh. <laughs> Here we've got Snorlax. Yeah. So Snorlax is like my favorite Pokemon. Do you want it? <laughs> yes, please. All right. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to give you is a ball cap which is what I use to actually keep them in when I'm painting Oh, them. this is so much fun. I'm really excited. Do I get to keep this after? Uh, yeah, you get yeah. to keep this. <laughs> Yay! That's good. That's good. Yeah? Okay. Oh, this is the scary bit. You're left-handed. I am left-handed. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I can feel that it's wrong. It's okay, it's okay. It's all right, it's okay, it's okay. I'm so excited, oh my god, okay. Oh, I can't. Oh. oh no! <laughs> I'll save it, don't worry. Would you? Is that yeah. okay? Thank you for saving it. It looks better than it did before I <laughs> before I dropped it. Are you ready for some eyes? Use water gun! I'm ready for some eyes. Oh, that was easy. That was good. Next. What's next? Mud Pudge. Mud Pudge? <laughs> what is Mud Pudge? It is a glue-like substance. Uh, we're just going to cut the figures with it because it makes it glossy and also protect it when it's in the water. Yay! So we've got our little Pokemon friends. Team Water Pokemon. We're going to put them inside the glass jars with water and a bit of oil. Get like bigger with the water in there. Mm. It did! <laughs> it's an illusion! It's a fat mud <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you all look fine as well. It's like the test subject. Oh, it's poor Mudkip. I know. <laughs> he really fills up that jar. I like that. Oh, so cool. I like this. Yeah. This is so cool. Yeah, I feel this is more special to me now because I know that I made yeah, this. Yeah. I made this with a lot of help. Yeah. I made this. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lovely things. Thank you for having me. I've had a lot of fun. These are so yeah. great. And be sure to check out Toby's channel, Birdkeeper Toby. Head on over because we have a video over there where we are doing Pokemon lattes and donuts together, yeah, yeah. which I'm excited for. See, See you next, next time. Bye. 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 bye, bye, bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> it is the next day. Um, I filmed with Toby yesterday. As many of you probably commented now. 
Mod Podge is water-based and although it does work as a sealant, so for like little drops of water and things, it does work out well. Completely submerging it in water? No, that doesn't work. Um, to be honest, I had a feeling, but I think I'd used it before and it was fine, but when I was looking up online, the Mod Podge I had used before was an outdoor Mod Podge. That's the issue. <laughs> I've taken the mud cap out of the water and I mean, he looks fine. It's alright. It was just the fact that when he was submerged in water, you could see that the Mod Podge was a bit like fuzzy, uh, but the actual figurine's fine. <laughs> Um, if you do want to do this project, uh, it's probably better if you get some sort of a waterproof enamel coat. But I want to make sure this looks good, and so I'm going to go ahead and make a couple more of these and make a little cute habitat without water. Sorry this video is so long now, it's just me having fun. So here's Mudkip out of the water. I'm just going to paint a few other little figurines. Again, I didn't probably explain it that well, but all I do is I take little wooden spears and I paint them and I use the cloud clay to make the additional bits. I glue them on with the Mod Podge and then I just paint everything together. And that's it. These are really simple and fun to make if you do want to try to make them. For the Mudkip one, I am going to add some glitter in the bottom of the jar and then add them in there. To explain the concept that I was going off of, I was trying to make little ocean jars and for this you add water with blue food coloring and you make sure it's really blue, and then add oil, seal the top, and then when you shake it, it looks like ocean waves. So that was the project idea. I think where it fell a bit short with the oils, we didn't want to color the water too much, because otherwise you couldn't see the Pokemon, but unless you color the water, you can't really see the waves that well. Um, yeah, so if you'd like to make an ocean jar, that's how you do it, and I'm going to keep the Pokemon separate this time though. <laughs> Um, thank you, and bye. <laughs>